Okay, good day. So today we're going to do a Turnitin a video demonstration on how to create a class. So Turnitin is a global company integrating for the data integrity of the students, academic integrity, and allow us to perform similar similarity index of our paper. Okay, click login. Okay, so now turn it in to access the dashboard will be required to enter our email address and the password. Click login. Okay, so this is my dashboard now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to create a new class. So click add class button. Then we're going to set the class type standard for single class. Then the class name, we just need to enter our desired class name uh, for this demonstration. So we'll type in uh, research papers. For the enrollment key, uh, this is similar to the Google Classroom invitation code. Okay, so for the subject areas, we're going to check uh, literature, select from the list, then I'll do social studies, okay. then IT for computer programming. Okay, so for student levels, we're going to select career and technical, then postgraduate for the students. Then we're going to set the class date. So usually it took about six months, but you can actually change the date and have it into a uh, one year. So it will depend on your class settings. So in my case, we'll just proceed it back to uh, I'll do the six months. Then you're setting the date that your settings you need to click submit button okay so congratulations our class is created research papers then the class ID enrollment key will be used for students enrolling themselves to the turn it in class okay so if you ever forget the class ID you just need to check the class name on your list and this is on the left side of the class name the number located on your dashboard okay so click continue button Ta-da! okay so now we have our research papers the newly created research papers so click the name the class name it was created on October 8th okay so this is now the research papers cla class dashboard so you just need to click add assignment button okay so this is where we need to set up properly our assignment settings for us not to encounter difficulty in the Turnitin repository uh, settings okay so we need to have the assignment title i'll do a paper review or review papers so this is where the students can check the assignment name in their uh, for the class okay so we're going to have the date the start date then the due date so i'll set the due date to the end of day of the class then the point value skip then allow only file types that turn it in will support okay then we'll click optional settings 
to make sure that this, that this is properly set up okay so allow submissions after the due date I'll select yes uh, allow the instructors to select whether they will allow late submissions to the class similarity report uh, select yes generate similarity reports for submissions okay for still submissions immediately and can operate reports until due date okay exclude bibliographic materials so select no so we can have all the references included in the similarity index uh, the same as well with quoted materials we need to select yes uh, select no rather here so we'll just we'll include all materials in the similarity report exclude small sources uh, select no so even those statements of less than one percent will be included allow students to see similarity reports select yes okay here this is where we need to be extra careful uh, submit papers to no repository so please confirm no repository okay then the student search options will be you need to check all those check boxes skip uh, online grading then enable the a rated technology then select english dictionary then check all categories enabled by default then would you like to save these options as your future default assignments check it then click submit button okay so congratulations okay tapos na po kita ng ano pag set up ng aton turn it in class and class assignment settings okay so there you go and thank you for having this video tutorial with me guys don't forget to share uh, leave a positive comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you and good day.